So this board basically measures the, the voltage across the cell, uh, the temperature, and it also has a bypass um, circuit to, for balancing. Um, the difference between this board and your normal balancers is that um, this board will take the energy out of the cell and it will pump it into the, uh, into the pack. So when you're balancing, you're not losing any energy, you're just uh, shifting the energy from one cell to, to the others. So effectively, that means that you could actually run the balance uh, continuously. Yeah. So your cells are always going up and down balance as opposed to doing say top balancing where you would actually charge the battery and then you would balance the cells at the when they're fully charged and as they discharge obviously the voltages are going to change a little okay. bit and what do we have to do over here on the on the console so so what's the point of all this equipment so basically this jig allows us to uh, connect the the um, to the to the to the chip so that we can program the Put some software into into each of the processes. Um, now the way that I've set this up is that um, there is a bootloader installed into the chip so that we can download the software later on. Um, so the whole idea is that once you've assembled the battery and all of these things are installed, if you want to upgrade the software on the on the board, then you can just download a new piece of software yeah. onto the chip. So you put software onto the chip mm -hmm. so that later on we can do an update yeah. and not pull the whole battery yeah. back apart. So, so the, this, the, red, the red goes here, goes on the back. Uh, on, I, I, what is it not? Uh, I put these ones, but it won't fit. It won't fit. Yeah, it won't fit if you put it this way, you'll see that it won't yeah. fit. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I can see that the red goes just here. Yeah. All right, there we go. Done the cell boards now. I've been a super nice guy to Francesco. I only actually need three of these. <laughs> so you can see how many I've done. He's there for another project that he's working on with an electric car. So all good, On to the next thing. All right, so I thought I'd just run you through the process uh, for step two of the programming of the cell monitors. It's all programmed now. Put that aside. Put the next one in. Hit reset. Press on wake. And then program. There we go. There you go, there's uh, quite a lot of cell monitors in there. Uh, groups of five, so well, be a good hundred or so in there. 
All right, we're on to step three of this process, and this one's calibrating the program that's on the chips now. What's happening at the moment is that it's reading what's coming off the cells as values, and um, what this process does is try to make uh, the cell board accurate, so when it's reading three volts that it is actually three volts and when it's 4.1 volts it is actually 4.1 volts um, so and this is what this program does so um, in here i've got a type of command and then um, it runs through the process and then if those numbers aren't don't come back close enough to 3000 or 4100 or 4096 um, then i run the program again until it calibrates uh, once more to more accurate figures and then move on to the next board. So you can see on this one that the first cell is reading 2.966 volts, next one's 3.026 and so on and so forth. So I'll run the command and see if we can get that battery voltage column to close as we can to 3002, which is what I'm asking it to reconfigure to. And there we go. And now you can see it's they're reading at 3002, 3005, 3002, 3003, 3001. And we only need it as accurate within say 20, so 3020. So when we're setting it to 3002 and it is 3002, that's really good. And then uh, we check the other voltage that we're doing at the same time, which is 4096. And we've got a 4080, 4096, 4102. So because of that 4080, I'll just run the program again and see if we can get it up to 4096. Okay, still doing its calibration. Okay, so once again, we've got uh, 3002s looking pretty good. And yeah, we'll check the other voltage. Sorry, 4096, 4095, 4092, 92, 96, so that's really good. That's what we want. Francisco is just soldering some transformers onto Transformers now is soldering the wires. Oh, he's done the transformers. Okay, so there you go. There's five transformers on the cell boards. And we're doing uh, wires like, like we have here. So we have a thick wire and a thin wire. Yeah. What's the, the story thick, there? The thick wire is for the bypass. And the thin wire is for the for powering the processor and sensing the voltage. So essentially there's a hole through the board, right? And you yep. are soldering the other side so the wire stays yep. affixed. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll let the pro handle this one. All right, so we've seen the process now for installing the software on the cell monitors. We've put on a boot logger and then we've installed the program and then we've calibrated with software and we're on to the next step now uh, as well as uh, Francisco has put on the transformers and some wires so we can connect them all up on the battery but now we are going to run a test to see that the calibration that we have actually done on with the software is true and correct so while there's a lot of wires and cables and uh, gadget looking stuff here, 
essentially what you're testing is what occurs when the that cell monitor reads a battery voltage higher than the other cell monitors yeah. to make sure that it bypasses yeah. and when it reads a value lower than what the other cell monitors are doing that it tries Stop. to draw. It basically stops the bypass. Plug, plug the yellow one in first, yeah, and the then... Okay, so here we are a few days later and this is the state of the battery. Now, one of the things I said to Francisco when I first started this project is how I've always disliked the cable management on, on battery systems and this is no exception. And look, it's just so disorganized. So what I did uh, we haven't. We've just used standardised cabling. That's that's part of the problem. So because I've got the time, I'm going to go to the effort of uh, just having like the cables look a, a bit nicer, like that. I mean, that doesn't look. That, that's fine. That bit there. But um, I've just been playing around with these ones, and uh, there's just so many wires doing different things. So I'm going to take the time to tidy it all up. <laughs> 